Well, good morning, Friday morning. It's uh, 6.53, you're probably wondering what the hell your boy's doing. He's not used to getting up to about nine, you know, you work night shift and your sleep's all messed up. We are at 91% state of charge. Should have been 95. I have to check my app because I'm pretty sure that's where I put it last night. But we have miles until we get to where we're going. Super duper secret. We have our first supercharging stop in Fairfield, California, right down by Travis Air Force Base. We should get there about 920. But uh, we're picking up something today and uh, going somewhere today. I really, really hope this all pans out. Um, this was a Craigslist deal. Roll the dice, kids. So uh, we should have a good time today. Get to hit a new supercharger, a couple new ones we've never been to. And uh, as soon as the sun gets a little bit brighter here, we'll get you flipped around and we'll get you some views of some new road and some new superchargers. So, a lot going on, big old word salad. It's just us today. So, uh, see you guys in a little bit.
about running on I-5 pretty much anywhere is it's flat and straight. So your watt hours per mile stay pretty consistent. Uh, as long as your acceleration stays, we've been literally doing the speed limit. I'm kind of testing a theory right now. Um, so we have gone, let me get back into that page. Let's see here, 77 miles. We burn 22 kilowatts at 290 watt hours per mile. Anything under 300 is great. And uh, we've got one hour and 29 minutes or 89 miles until we get to our first supercharger, which we are projected 154 miles. Completely fine. It's 41 degrees outside. So it's not, again, the best of road trip conditions, but it's also winter and Northern California, and I'm not talking like San Francisco because that place sucks balls. We are like two and a half, three hours north of San Francisco. We are way up in Redding, which is only about 120 miles under the Oregon border. So we get cold up here. So tooling along in our automobile, it's flat and straight, man. There's just not a whole lot going on right now, but uh, that's kind of where we're sitting kilowatt hours and mileage wise and I got a truck pulling in front of me so we'll get you guys flip back around and I'll go back to channel surf on the radio see ya
All right, kids, just pulled into the Fairfield Supercharger right outside Travis Air Force Base. Pulled in at 24%. This is a V2. There's a really nice Y and another three here. And some crazy crackhead bird walking up to me, probably looking for change. This is Bay Area territory. And we ran up to 132 kilowatts, so the charging is really good. I am going to go find something to eat and go pee. So we're going to let this run up. It says 10 minutes. We're about 40 minutes from our final destination, uh, which will be Fremont. And uh, we'll check in with you guys when we get there. See you in a minute. Oh, man. I hate Bay Area traffic. I hate traffic in general. And uh, we haven't even really got to that area yet, and it's thick. So the key now is to uh, not get into a motor vehicle accident or MVA and uh, it's not even worth counting how many Teslas you see on the road because they're everywhere down here so we had a really good charging session just as we left a handful of other cars pulled in so we timed that perfectly we've got uh, 53 miles until we arrive in Fremont and uh, we're actually making a really good speed right now so we charged up to about 57% uh, overcharged, but that's fine because I'm going to use that and burn it all up in speed. And uh, we'll see you guys in just a little bit when we get there, but I got to definitely keep my eyes on the road while we're down here. So I'll check in as soon as we get to Fremont. So we're in Fremont at the Tesla facility picked up a bottle of Tesla tequila from an employee here so that is extremely cool you can see we're sitting on the charger next to an X and uh, this is pretty cool being in here I just got to sit in a plaid inside the showroom uh, can't do any tours right now but that's okay but hang on a second let me show you this tequila it's actually in a beautiful presentation box oh if I can do this with one hand hang on So there's your, there's your directions on how to open it, which actually is specific. If you twist it, it's going to break. But look at that. And I made damn sure this wasn't full of piss water. There's the seal. You don't know if you can see that or not, but it is sealed uh, with the alcohol beverage and control sticker. But... And that's your uh, display stand for it but that is so cool absolutely worth the drive down here ah there it is so exciting so yeah we're going to uh, finish charging up here and grab some lunch oh that's so cool so uh we'll get back on the road here in just a little bit guys and uh, we'll do one last check-in so have a great day and we'll see you soon That was the big reveal, picking up the tequila and uh, coming to where uh, it all happened, the birthplace of all the Teslas. This place started all of it. So I'm gonna drive around until I get kicked out. I'll leave the camera forward facing, that way you guys can see everything. Uh, as soon as we do pull out though, there's a lot right in front of us. That's customer pickup. I guess it's a new program that they're starting. Um, where you can actually come here to the factory to get them for the immediate area versus it being put on a truck and picked up in Sacramento, things like that. So I also found 20 bucks next to the supercharger. So hell yeah, we'll get you flipped around. Stand by.
know, I'll just drive it for you. So it doesn't look like there's actually much to see other than the front of the building. Um, everything takes place behind it where the vehicle assembly and all that is. So we're just going to get the, uh, the heck out of this town. Mission completed and uh, try and get back to where the traffic is a lot less. So we'll get you guys flipped back around here again while I try to figure out how to get the hell out of this parking lot. So thanks guys, this was a really cool adventure and uh, like always, if uh, something really cool happens, we'll get the camera flipped around and turned on just in time to miss it. You guys take care, have a good one. Oh, there's gonna be some happy people. Gotta point him out. There's a blue one, he's up there.